Hey, my name is Yiri, and I'd like to give you a quick demonstration of this example on how to use GitHub Actions with Web Methods Gateway. In my example project, I don't have any actual code. I only have a specification file. I downloaded the pet store Swagger file and included it in the repository. Um, normally, you would have you know, code in there, for example, Node.js project, a Python project, a Java project, whatever. Um, and the specification would be generated from that, or you would create it up front and create your code to match it. Here, I will just use this as an example to show how you can register the API with API Gateway in development, staging, and production. So I don't need any actual code, I'll just use the specification. So right now I have a development instance of my API Gateway, where you can see there's already two versions of my API registered. 016 and a 017. In my staging environment, I have 017 deployed. Okay, now the intent here is that whenever I make a change to the code in this project and I push that commit to the main branch, a workflow will kick off to deploy the changes to the development environment and register the updated specification with API Gateway. So every time I push an update to the same version, that version will be updated in my development instance so that I can always test with the latest changes on development. If I create a tag, and use the git tagging mechanism, the tags will be considered releases. Whenever I do a tag, I want that tag to be registered with my staging environment and after manual approval also be deployed to my production environment. How all of this happens and how it's been configured is something that you can read here in the readme file of the project. I won't take you through that. You can read that at your own pace, but I just want to show you how this runs, how this executes when you actually make the changes. So let's go to my code editor, make a quick change. Hello world. Are you? There we go. We save the change and we commit it to our staging area. And then push it to our repository. So when I push, the changes are actually pushed to my GitHub repository. You'll see when I refresh here that my dummy file has just been updated with the commit message and the change that I just pushed. Now, the way that my CI CD pipeline has been configured in the GitHub workflows um, directory is that an action will run, a workflow will run whenever I commit something to the main branch. So here you see I've got my updated dummy file commit that was pushed to main, and we have a job running to update development. You see that there's a promoter staging and promoter production job as well, but those will not be run because those will only be run, are configured to only run for tags and not for the main branch. So you see that my update dev job is running. Give it a few seconds to complete. And it's finished successfully. If I now go to my development instance, we are working with the latest version and making updates to the latest version. So you see this timestamp here will change from 5.10 p.m. to 5.25 p.m. or 26. There we go. So whenever a developer pushes changes to the main branch on the development server, on the development instance in API Gateway, the update will be reflected in that environment. Okay, so going back to my development environment, sorry, going back to my repository. Now that I'm happy with my changes, I want to push a new version. You see there's already a few versions that have been tagged. 1.6 and 1.7 have been registered with the development um, API Gateway instance, I want to create a 0 0.1.7 and push that to my staging environment. I'm using npm as my package manager, which has a version feature. I'll just use npm version patch. 
which uh, will bump up the minor, sorry, the patch version level of my project. This will actually update my package.json file, but I've also included a script within the um, project configuration to push that same version, to write that same version into the Swagger specification file. So as this script runs, it's actually updating the version in the Swagger file from 0.17 to 0.18. It's tagging the version with the same version number, and it's pushing that to the repository. So if we go and check here now, we see that we have a little bit of time. Should have two workflows running. There we go. One is running against the main branch because the changes were committed to main as well with the tag. It's an actual commit. So 018 will be deployed to my development environment as the latest version. 018 has been finished. And now it starts to deploy 018. It actually promotes 018 to my staging environment. But first, let's have a look at the development environment while it's promoting. So in my development instance, I see I now have a third version registered, 0.1.8, just now. All happened automatically. If we go back to our actions view, we see that we have a workflow here, promoting to staging. Promote to staging is finished, and it's waiting for review on production. So the idea here is that when we create a version, we automatically push to staging which means the API is promoted from development to my staging instance using Web Methods API Gateways um, staging and promotion features. And the promotion to production needs a manual action after we've finished all the, te the testing, user acceptance testing, etc., that are required for this API in staging, I can manually approve, review the deployment, manually approve, and the change will be promoted to production as well. But first, we promote it to staging. So you'll see here, we had a 1.7 version deployed, and now we also have a 1.8 in my staging environment. To finish off the, pro the process, I can review the deployment. If, I've, if I'm happy with all of the changes, validated everything in staging, I can say this is good to go and have it deployed to production. So again, this will run that job. Give it a few seconds to start. And there it goes. It's promoting the API to the production environment and finished. So now the API is actually available on my production environment as well, registered with the version in the Swagger specification. This is a quick example of how you can automate all of the deployment actions, all of the configuration actions using GitHub Actions to create automated CI CD pipelines and have those register and promote APIs within Web Methods API Gateway. I hope this was meaningful to you, and I wish you a nice day.